All right, guys, welcome back to another Rage Shadow Legends video. This is Ali Plays. And today we're going to be doing an in depth guide slash review on Golden Reaper. So, as always, we're going to be going over the skills, artifacts, and masteries. And we're going to review Golden Reaper and um, throw, her, uh, throw him in some dungeon. I think it's a guy. Um, I don't know. It doesn't matter, honestly. <laughs> sometimes I think it's a girl, sometimes I think it's a guy. Doesn't really matter. So, so Golden Reaper is the is a Void champion, Void Epic champion. So she was considered one of the best uh, supports in the game during her time. I'm gonna say her. I don't know that hair and everything. Okay, so I'm gonna say her. So Golden Reaper, it's part of the Night Revenant faction, and when she was released, she was considered to be one of the best supports in the game because of this ability right here. So she attacks one enemy. And she has a 30% chance of decreasing the cooldown of one of one. Random ally skill by one turn. So, this is all RNG. This is what sucks about it. But it, potentially, it's very, very good. She also has an AoE that has a 50% chance of placing a decreased attack debuff for two turns. And she can decrease the turn of each target by 20% if they are not under a decreased attack debuff. So, she does have a little bit of utility for Spider's Den. Yeah, I don't know how to pronounce this. I'm not even going to bother. Plays a 30% increased speed buff on no allies for two turns and boosts her turn meter by 20%. So she does have a better turn meter boost than Apothecary and she also applies an increased speed as well. And her aura skills increase ally accuracy and fashion crisp by 40. So her kit is pretty good. Uh, there has been some debate over whether she is better than Apothecary in clan boss. So I'm going to end this right now. Um, Apothecary is actually better than her in clan boss because he has a triple hit on his basic. We should make this for another video but I'm going to talk about it right now. Triple hit on his basic attack. Uh, he has a speed boost set. There's a 50% uh, boost in the turn meter. Uh, she's doing 20% boost, so it's only 5% difference. Cooldown is exactly the same. Uh, he has a heal. Golden Reaper does not. I believe a Golden Reaper had a heal. She could possibly be better. But again, the triple hit on this attack right here. Uh, it's kind of hard to. It's kind of hard to beat that, especially with Giant Slayer on the Clan boss. So. If Golden Reaper had a heal, she'd be one of the best uh, support champions in the game. Probably the best one. So let's look at the artifacts. So ideally, you would want to run old speed on Golden Reaper. Uh, make sure she's as fast as possible so that you can keep using your basic attack. Use your AoE that decreases your turn meter and uh, give your allies a speed boost that they need. So I am using one frost set, but it's broken because you're supposed to need four for a frost set. The reason why I'm using that is because of the primary stat. So I have the defense primary right here uh, with 15 speed and over here i have the hp percentage primary with 11 speed uh the crit damage here was unfortunate that it rolled <laughs> and we got 45 speed here from the boots of course so the subsets you're going to be looking for uh speed primarily hp percentage defense percentage for survivability and if you can get some accuracy on there as well so to land your uh, maelstrom that will be very very good for your team so as you can see, mine is only three star ascension. So we're going to be looking for in the accessories. We're looking for substats. So I go over the HP percentage. So we got 21% HP right here. That is pretty beast with 6% defense. So for the necklace, uh, you want to get whatever has the most HP as your substats and try to get accuracy on there. I think you can get accuracy from there. Uh, from the banner accuracy primary, if you can, or whatever has the most speed as a substat. So let's look at the total stats right now. So we have 38,926 HP, that's not too bad. Could be higher. 228 speed, that is pretty good. And 70 accuracy, so I'd prefer if the accuracy was higher, if I can get an accuracy banner. Oh, that would be pretty good. I probably have one, but I just have to get the ascensions finished. So overall the stats look pretty good. So let's review Golden Reaper. So Arena offense, so Arena, Golden Reaper is pretty good. One of the best turn meter boosters in the game. Clan boss, I think she's rated too high. I would say she's good. Uh, doesn't have a heal. I guess if there was a healer on your team, it would be good. I'll give her a four. Defense, I'll give her a five. Minotaur's Labyrinth. She has decreased attack, so I'll give her a five. Four. Campaign locations, three. She's not a campaign farmer. Dragon's Lair, five. Just for the utility that she brings to your team. Spider's Den, I think she's rated too high. I would give her a three. 
Fire Knight's Castle, so she doesn't have a triple hit on her basic attack. I mean, she can take the cooldowns away. Uh, I think she's rated too high, so I'll give her a good. Spirit Keep, give her a five. Ice Skull's Peak, I would give her a five because of the decreased attack as well as uh, reducing the cooldowns for your team. So you can land more poisons, things like that. Void Keep, five. Force Keep, five. And Magic Keep, five. Looks like one of the recommended artifacts. So one, two, three, four speed set and two health. So that is actually pretty good. Speed primary right here, HP, HP. Yeah, that's pretty good. So I'll actually recommend uh, following that. But I actually prefer going old speed. But this will make her more tanky. So let's submit these ratings. If you're gonna be running Golden Reaper in Clan Boss, I, I was testing her in Clan Boss, so I wanted the War Master. So you gotta go with War Master if you want to get Golden Reaper for Clan Boss. And I want with the accuracy to try to land decreased attack on all enemies, and we went with the Lore of Steel because we should be using uh, basic sets with the speed sets. So Master Hexer here, uh, extend the ratio of any debuff. So that's for for the decreased attack. And we have Lasting Gifts, extend duration of any buff cast by this champion by one turn. Uh, she does in do increased speed, so that is good. I would actually switch War Master out if, I if I'm not running her clan boss. Um, I mean, War Master is pretty good in dungeons, but uh, she doesn't really need it. So I might get Timely in for Intervention in place of that. Increase champion's turn by 20% whenever an ally hero drops below 25% HP. I mean, she doesn't have a heal, but that can help, I guess. Or Eagle Eye, actually plus 50 to land the decreased attack or Oppressor, I don't know, not a lot of people use this. Please determine your refill rate by 2.5% for each active debuff cast by this champion. So she does have an AOE decrease attack and it stacks up to 10%. We'll throw Golden Reaper in place of Arbiter. All right, so Golden Reaper is usually one of the fastest uh, champions in the game. So first move you're gonna do is increase your turn meter and boost speed. Also, my Molly and Lorsha's are pretty fast, so that is pretty surprising that she actually went first. Okay, let's see if she actually decreases cooldown. She didn't do it. We didn't need to, but whatever. Uh, we'll do one more battle. We'll try a hard one. Let's go with this one. Every All the team powers is way too low. I don't know what's been going on with Arena. I'm not complaining, but for showcase purposes, I will prefer if I were fighting strong teams. She can kill them. <laughs> okay, one more. Let's see what we got. We got this team. This team looks pretty strong. Yeah, we'll go with this team. No, 73k power. Okay, this one right here. Let's see if she goes first now. Yep. Alright, let's try to decrease cooldown. Let's see if it works. Nope. So it was all RNG with that ability. Let's try it again. Okay, we got it on Lord Shazar. You know, I feel like Painkeeper and her might be a good combo in terms of cooldown reduction. We actually try that out. She's Painkeeper is also a healer, so we'll go into a dungeon and try that out. So this is my team. I'm not going to guarantee that I'm going to win. I'm probably not, but I just want to test it out with Painkeeper. So I guess she is pretty good uh, for the first two waves for the uh, AOE decrease attack. Oh, wow, by the way, I have a reflex set on Painkeeper. See that? She can uh, decrease her cooldown every time she takes a turn. Not every time, it's a 30% chance. So what we're going to do is we're going to skip to the dragon. So I'll skip all these parts. I don't want you guys watching a 20-something minute long video. 11 minutes later. So the reason why I'm using Juliana is for the poison HP burn and uh, Lenrel for the poison 
There we go. And then my Julian is actually built for CB. So she is pretty fast. Let's hope we can take this down. So again, I'm not guaranteeing we're gonna win. Probably not. There we go, get the poisons off. These will probably proc and take this down. So he probably won't be able to stun my team. Yep. Ooh, that was beast. So if you guys are enjoying my content and you want to support the channel, I do have some links in the description. Um, you guys don't directly have to uh, send me any money, but it's just if you use my link for Dragon Champions, it's another game it helps me directly, as well as my uh, Blue Stacks link for Raid Shadow Legends. So those are the ways to help the channel. Also, I also have a Patreon set up. Oh, there it is. Yeah, you guys can use that if you want to help out the channel. Um, again, it's not mandatory. So I guess that did work. Uh, so overall, I would say Golden Reaper uh, is a very, very good support champion. Uh, it's unfortunate she doesn't have a heal, but you can also partner her up with a healer. So that is not an issue. Apothecary is actually a good choice to partner her up with. They both have speed boost. Uh, one of them is um, done using it, the other one can use it. So overall, for a support champion, I would say Golden Reaper, possibly a 9, 9 out of 10. Because of her abilities, uh, 2 RNG and she doesn't have a heal. So I'll give her a 9 out of 10. She is one of the best speed boosters in the game by the 20% turn meter boost. And a 30% increase in speed. And she does have utility with that Maelstrom ability. Where she's able to decrease attack and also decrease turn meter if, uh, if they don't have decrease attack. So that's it for the video guys. If you guys found this video helpful or entertaining in any way, make sure you drop make sure to drop a like. Helps out the channel a lot. Helps with the YouTube algorithm. And if you guys are new to the channel and like what you see, then consider subscribing. I make Rachel Legends and Dragon Champions content almost every single day. And while you're ready, you can enable notifications. That's up to you. As always, I want to thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.